Hi, this is Stephen Whitfield with Drilling Contractor here at the 2020 IADC SPE International Drilling Conference and Exhibition in Galveston, Texas. With me today is Adrian Ledros, Vice President of Technology at Gyrodata. Mr. Ledros, thank you very much for speaking with me today. Thank you. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about a paper you presented at this conference on the use of solid state gyroscopic sensor technology in the drilling of a well bore. Um, my first question is about just comparing it to conventional uh, gyroscopic technology. How does it compare? What makes the solid state sensors preferable for well bore surveying? There are several advantages to the solid state technology over the, the spinning mass gyros. Uh, some are related to lower power consumption, uh, faster survey time, uh, but also the reliability of the sensor is much higher. It doesn't have any moving parts, uh, so the calibration uh, is long, lo valid longer, and we can use this sensor in a tougher drilling environment than the previous technology. So in your paper, you mentioned that this sensor technology could be a replacement for magnetic measurement while drilling. And you went a little bit into the errors that you tend to find with uh, magnetic NWD. Could you go into that a little bit and how does the sensor technology improve on those errors? Yeah, uh, we have to take a more holistic look, I guess. Uh, the magnetic sensors are very good sensors. The problem is the reference, the value that they measure. They measure the air magnetic field that changes over time. It's not easy to model because there are local anomalies. In addition, the magnetic sensors are affected by the, the BHA, the steel in the, in the assembly, and, and even uh, we have magnetized mat uh, used during drilling. Those all affect the, the measurement. So the sensors are very good. It's just the overall uh, has a problem. The gyros, on the other hand, are not affected by that. Um, the reference they measure is a stable measurement, is the air rotation. And so as long as you know the latitude, you know what uh, value they should be measuring. Um, the problem are related to the sensor. So with the previous technology, the sensors were a bit more fragile. This uh, having a, a rugged sensor, a stable sensor now solved many of the problems. So in the paper, you mentioned a, a case study of its operation in the Midland Basin. How did the technology perform relative to expectations in that operation? Yeah, the technology performed very well. That's why we are presenting the, the paper. It met our expectations on quality control. And it was also something that we made as a case study because the previous technology couldn't have drilled that well uh, with that level of accuracy without taking any extra time in the, in the Midland Basin. Mr. Ledros, thank you very much for speaking with me today. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. And thank you very much for visiting Drilling Contractor.